Um, so let me just uh, talk about a few things. Um, I had a lot of cards that flipped out when I was shuffling the spread for you and I had a lot of images, just like flashes, really, really quick flashes of images. And the first thing that I saw is uh, I see this little amoeba, you know, it has like the little, what are those called, um, cilia, I think, like the little hairy fuzzy things for it to kind of navigate uh, its way in the primordial soup and for it to find its way and, and for it to attract food and, and get you know, food from, from the water. So it's floating around. And then I see this, um, this chart, it's like a scroll that kind of unfurls and you see like the, the human evolution. So we start out as an ape and then it progresses and then it becomes human form. And so what I'm, I'm feeling with these two imagery is that it, it, it talks about a spectrum. Okay. It's a, a spectrum of, um, I feel what it means to be human. That's, that's what I feel, like the, the concept of humanity. And there is this overarching theme based on this spread about giving, about um, having this sense of responsibility to our, the, to the human race, you know, wanting to do the right thing. When we see a social injustice, we intervene. And then we, when we see somebody who is down on their luck, we want to intervene because that's what it means to be human, to take care of one another and to treat one another with the most, with the utmost sense of dignity and respect. Okay. Because in a way, humanity is not classified by that, by one person. It's people as a whole. And then I also feel like, you know, with this, the scroll that, that signifies the, the stages of human evolution, what it denotes to me, and especially with this um, this spread, is I feel like, you know, this is um, a month for you where it's a very chill out type of a month, okay? And so, you know, we create and manifest and we are actively engaged in the, the making of our reality, right? We can choose to gloss over all of these problems and, and walk around, you know, minding our business and um, kind of like dealing with only the things that immediately concern us. Or we can choose to be a little bit more in tune to 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 go about our day being a little bit more mindful of what's going on with other people. I wonder how Jane is doing today. I wonder, you know, Mary said she had an operation. Let me go check on her and see how she's recovering. Or, you know, Bob hasn't been in the office for the past three days. I wonder what's going on with him. So we can choose to engage in the human experience or we can choose to kind of close ourselves off. As long as everything that's happening in our world is fine and dandy, then we don't really need to, you know, step out and, 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 and try to figure out what other people are doing, right? And so I feel like that, that's what's really happening here. I see many of you in a very relaxed state of being, okay? Kind of like in chill out mode, okay? Going to the office with your cup of coffee and, you know, your, your snug blanket, right? or like a, a poncho or something to keep you warm in the office and you're, you're, you're nice and comfortable with your coffee or with your tea, typing away um, possibly case notes, checking your emails and you know, outside the weather, it, it could be snowing, but you're insulated from all of that. So insulation is what I'm feeling. And then I also feel like there are definitely a lot of people around you that are not okay. And I feel like some of them are very behind on their work and they don't have the skills and the expertise in order to do that. And so they're coming to you um, kind of like asking questions one after the other and you give them the answer to, your, to their questions. You give them the answer. It's not like you're, you know, telling them, no, I'm, I'm busy, I don't have time for you. You're definitely giving them the answers. But I feel like you see them coming back. So obviously they're not really understanding it. And so you have to find a different way in order to teach them the concept, to allow them to make the connections so that they're not constantly coming back, asking you, asking other people, because there's obviously they're, they're not getting it. Okay. So 
it's almost telling me as well, you know, you want to do something, you want to do it right. Okay, you want to nip a situation in the bud so that it doesn't escalate. And I feel like, yes, we can be insulated from a lot of these things, but we also need to be aware of what it feels to be is like there's a lot more going on than what you're seeing and so you kind of need to step out and and inquire about what exactly is going on for some of you i feel like you're glossing over a lot of the office politics situation at your work um i definitely feel like i i definitely feel like there's a lot of strife there's a lot of like um it feels almost to me like a lot of power struggles in the work situation, okay? And it could be between coworkers. It could be between, you know, like um, upper management and the people they're trying to manage. But I, I almost feel like you're not aware of it. And you're not aware of the rumblings around your work environment. And you need to be a little bit more in tune to that to because I feel like it's affecting the, the work situation in a way where it doesn't necessarily affect you, but it can eventually trickle out down or trickle and, and affect you. And I especially see the June to the uh, September time frame where this situation is going to come to a head. And if you're catching wind of it, if you're, you know, finally aware of it by that time, it's almost like a little bit too late. So I want you to be a little bit more aware of your surrounding and aware of what's going on in the work environment and aware, for example, if uh, they're trying to downsize, right? And you're hearing rumors and, and little things trickling down. Oh, they're trying to, you know, get rid of this department. They're trying to let go of these specific employees. And you're just like, oh, that, that, it, it, it's not my department. It's not the department that I'm in. It doesn't affect me. And then you go about your way. But what if, you know, it starts with that department and then it trickles out to other departments. So we want to keep our heads and our senses actively engaged to what's going on in our surrounding and not insulate ourselves. Because I feel like all of these things, you know, I mentioned before, I think with Sagittarius, um, the universe always sends us signals and the signals, you know, people say that they come in threes, but I feel like they will keep coming. So if you hear something repeatedly over and over and over again, and you're just like, oh, it doesn't affect me. I don't have to worry about that. There is, there, there might be some things that will affect you further down the line. If you keep hearing about it, it's time for you to do, you know, a little bit more exploring. Okay, so don't quickly pass it off because I definitely feel some work reshuffling here. And I feel like it's starting out because of some contentious issues between um, people who are at the bottom and then upper management. Okay, so going back to that scroll, the, the human evolution, we can choose to be more on the evolved end where we are in tune with our environment, where we behave in a way where, you know what, an injustice to one person, even though it doesn't affect me or even though I'm not the, the person that's being targeted or even though, you know, I'm not the one being laid off or even though I'm not the one that's dealing with this injustice, an injustice to one person will potentially lead to an injustice for all because, you know, if there is that disregard for that human dignity to begin with, it's going to reverberate and it's going to cause a ripple effect and it is going to eventually trickle out and affect everybody. So we can choose to kind of like insulate ourselves and not, you know, um, listen to it. But then I almost feel like it's our obligation to one another to kind of band together and kind of speak out whenever we see things that are unjust or unfair. Um, so I don't know why the message is so preachy. I don't un understand why, um, but I feel like there's something here about not forgetting things. There's something here about, it, it's almost like um, 
retaining your memories, retaining the, the information, not forgetting things because things subsequently build upon one another and previous knowledge allows us to form new knowledge like that, you know, the whole evolutionary chain. Things have to happen, we have to adapt, and then we evolve. And so knowledge that comes in, it's not a coincidence. It's required so that we can adapt to the changes, so that we can learn, and so that we can stay ahead of the game and not be, you know, wiped out and extinct, okay? Um, this is not about competition. This is not about survival of the fittest. This is just about being a little bit more aware, being a little bit more cognizant of whatever is happening around our environment so that we can make well-informed decisions. And especially if there has been something that's, um, that's brewing, you want to be aware of it and you want to be on the forefront in order to shift gears if you need to, to protect yourself. But also I feel like it is protecting other people. Um, so I'm going to let that kind of drift away very quickly. Just going to take a moment to let that image drift away. Um, what I'm also seeing here is um, I feel like there is a situation or a person in your life that feels to me, um, it's, a, it's almost like, it, I feel like it's a relationship, okay? And um, it feels to me like your passions are not in alignment. There's great passion between the two of you, great chemistry, great chemistry, like really strong physical attraction and great chemistry. Um, but I feel like it's this merry-go-round. And I feel it's it's very, very hard for the two of you to, to um, kind of like create and solidify and plant a future together. So like, you know, um, put down something solid or something stable so that it can grow. It, it's hard for you guys to do that because of um, ideological differences. One person wants to do this in this location. The other person is like, I'm not really sure that's for me. So there's some tug of war regarding... Um, the, 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 the passions that you guys have. So for example, not have for each other, but have as individuals. So for example, one person might want a, a quiet life with a house, you know, like a ranch with farm animals. The other person is more metropolitan and wants to live in a city where there are subways, taxis, nightclubs, and you know, the nightlife. Okay. One person wants a, um, a life in a secluded environment and the other person wants to jet set around the world. And so how, how would that work as a unit? Who is going to have to do more of the compromise? Is it even possible to compromise because the goals and the, 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 the dreams and the aspirations are so different from one another? And then I also feel as well, uh, finances, somebody shouldering the, the, the financial burden of the relationship and the other person is just a little bit, well, no, somebody is shouldering the responsibilities of uh, the financial burden in a relationship. And the other person is trying really hard. I feel it's trying hard, you know, trying to save up, trying to get a job, trying to 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 secure the future it's not like they're lazing around not not chipping in but i feel like they don't have a lot to give and i feel as well there's this element about your eyes being open you know that that evolution no longer being kept in the dark and realizing as well that you know sometimes we really really passionately feel for another person and sometimes the other person is just a really really good person there's nothing wrong with them but if our passions and our our dreams don't align we might not be suitable for one another and there's this element about dumping a lot of emotional investment in a person and it's past that tipping point where you want your return right like um giving to to a situation wholeheartedly and waiting for that point where you're going to get something back and it's past that tipping point it's like the the last straw that broke the camel's back and i feel like there's a, a major tipping point here 
do I stay where I'm at or do I, you know, move away from this so that I can evolve? So that chill out type of energy, I feel like it's, um, it's safe, it's stable, it's very status quo. And, you know, you can be insulated from the confrontation. You can be insulated from, you know, the, the goings on that are contentious around your work environment, around your relationship sector as well. But I feel like in terms of your growth, in terms of your ability to expand, in terms of you being able to live to your full potential, I feel like you have to make some changes. You have to allow for growth. You have to kind of like see the situation as hindering your evolution or even your evolutionary journey. Okay, because uh, status quo and stagnation, it's safe and it's stable, but it's kind of like living in the valley, living in the valley, um, stale air just gets kind of trapped there. There isn't a lot of movement to kind of move the energy or turn the energy or, you know, um, stir the pot or, or allow innovation to happen. And so you want to really think about geographical location for those of you who are in, in this state. If you're resonating with this, think about geographical locational changes. Think about, you know, uh, where do I want to be? And so that I am in more in alignment with my passion, with what I want to do. Okay. And then I also feel as well, you know, this Ace of Wands, once again, when I mentioned the passion and the chemistry with another person, it's very passionate. But we also have here the Temperance card and also the Judgment card. This is like um, patience. This is like looking at a situation and biding time and waiting things out. And I also feel with this judgment card, I, I see this sense of like wanting to break out of this monotony, wanting to break out of this merry-go-around, three people going around in circles. And so you have some life-changing decisions, I feel, that you're mulling over and you're trying to get yourself situated in a, a very well for this year and I feel like you're you're really really thinking about location you're really thinking about you know I want to be here rather than there and I also feel like for your soul's journey it's yearning for more expansion for more opportunities and I feel like you're some something or somebody is kind of uh, disallowing you to do that okay it could be like ties to a person ties to a place ties to status quo that's disallowing you to kind of move forward. And you kind of have to really look and see what are these blockages or what are these things that I am kind of like putting on the front burner that might be taking a lot of my energy or that might be disallowing me from going towards and pursuing the things that I really want as an individual. Um, career success is definitely in store for you, but I'm going to say this. I feel like with more responsibilities, with more visibility, there's going to be some jealousy in the work environment, okay? And it's going to start to manifest once again that uh, June time frame to the September time frame. So I feel like you kind of need to look around a little bit and, and figure out, you know, uh, what are people saying? What is uh, happening? What image am I creating or what image am I projecting? Because I feel like there's a, an element here about being so insulated that you're not really aware of the, 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 the goings on behind the scenes, the office politics, the, the antics that are happening around you. And Knowing these things, I feel, is going to give you a little bit more of an edge when these situations come to a head in that June time frame. Your career is looking really good. I don't feel that you need to worry. I just feel like there might be situations that you kind of have to nip in the bud right now so that they don't get agitated in the June time frame.
okay? Um, let me see if there's anything else. I, I feel like you had so many jumper cards and you had so many messages that came through. I'm seeing like this. Um, <laughs> they're saying like resources. So what I'm seeing is this desert and I see this cup of water. And, you know, if you pour that cup of water into, like, scorched earth, it doesn't really make a difference. You need, like, a huge deluge of water in order to, to bring a landscape back to life. Okay, so what, what I feel is it could be, re, like, the, the, it could be resource scarcity or something similar to that effect that becomes a tipping point. So I don't know how that message would apply to you. If you're in a situation where you're in charge and you're allocating resources, I feel like you want to be fair and you might want to scatter your resources, but you really want to think about what project is most effective. If it's if I feel like this is the project that is most effective and I feel like those other projects are not, maybe it's better to give all the resources to that one area or that one project. And likewise, if you're training people, who is willing to learn? Who is willing to come to me and engage with me because they want to do the work and they want to do it right? Whereas, you know, who's over there just um, minding their own business and not really uh, engaging with me, not really wanting to learn, not wanting to grow and not wanting to change their ways of doing because they've been doing it for so long and they don't feel the need to change. The ones that are coming to you are the ones that are deserving of uh, the ones that are deserving your time and your attention because they're trying to learn. So rather than scattering your energy, trying to please everyone or trying to, you know, um, trying to, for example, um, you know, you have 18 members and the ones that I'm just going to say. The ones that, that are coming towards you are the ones that you kind of need to spend more time on because they're taking the initiative. If the other ones are not, don't scatter your energy, okay? Um, let me see what else here. I feel like... I feel like the end of the month, things are going to be moving very, very, very quickly. And so you might be in a chill out mode right now, but there is an energy here about quickening up the pace, needing to quicken up the pace, needing to stay on your toes and needing to grab new to to like really see the opportunity when it comes in. So it's almost like being in this, you know, rest phase, OK, not ready for the birth. And then we have here the temperance card. And I feel like this is sort of like your, your spirit guides telling you, wait a minute, wake up. And we have things accelerating very, very quickly with the chariot. So I feel almost like for those of you who are, you know, dealing with financial uh, issues, there's something good coming into the picture. Job opportunities, um, hearing back from you know prospective employees, do um, getting called back for an interview and, and moving ahead. Okay, so if you're dealing with that, I feel like it's going to be alleviated. But they're saying keep yourself nimble, keep yourself on your feet. Um, don't insulate yourself. Don't isolate yourself. A lot of the times when we're in that uh, phase where we're looking for work, it can feel very demoralizing. So please don't lose your faith. And keep yourself plugged in to different social media channels, to different news outlets so that you can be exposed to more job opportunities that are floating around you because something is coming in. But it's not it, it can't come in if you are closed off like this. OK, so I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys, Pisces. I do wish you all the very best for this month.